everybody. I'm, I want you to be very mature because also this is a, this is a, I'm going to make another controversy video after this. But I want to talk about pedophilia tendencies. Like I said, it's about people that take advantage of people and people that prey on people. Or as we know, people that prey on kids, which is wrong. But when it comes to um, pedophilic tendencies, I was looking at myself because I want to share something with y'all. I remember one time I was watching a YouTube video that's very big. His name is Ali Matthew. His channel is called um, Refuse from a Narcissist. Now, he's not going to, I'm just using him for example. Refuse from a Narcissist. But this guy, I watched his YouTube channel. And one time, he was talking about something that was interesting. He was saying that growing up, he was he was saying that um, he had a um, a right or an individual that written to him, and he said, and this individual said, growing up, they will see that <coughs> excuse me, allergies. Their mother had a um, fetish of um, excuse me, I get a napkin. Mm. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. But his mother will um say. I mean, he, she, he would say, this individual would say their mother growing up, they would watch their mother have a fetish of homeless men and have, invite them to come in because um, it was just her thing. I didn't, they didn't go into all that. But he said that this individual was also abused by the um, homeless individual, and it was sad. And, and that's the thing right there. You got to be careful you take in. But, but even though they're humans. But I want to say this, and I want y'all to be very mature. Do y'all think fetishes come from how... We've been through a dysfunctional experience very early in our life that we turn around, we grow, when we get older, we fall in love with someone that we like or feel, whether it's psychological, physical, or both. Do you think we, when it comes to fetishes, it comes from us, our dysfunctional background that we don't understand or haven't, like, overcame, and we and we turn, and we grow up to challenge our fetish, we, we grow up to make our fetish into a challenge, positive experience. Do y'all think that's what the part of fetishes is, in y'all opinion? I'm just asking. Let me know in the comment section because, like I said, you know, I, I did have some experience where people take advantage of me, and that's why, like I said, I'm not a fan on the top and bottom. But sometimes, and that's why I do my fetish like I do because, like I said, you know, in the most healthy way, when it comes to the um, dysfunctional experience I had, you know, in a way I kind of like, like the challenge it to kind of like not be over the top and learn don't take advantage of anybody. But yeah, I'm just wondering about myself, but I don't think I've had filler traits or tendencies. Now, disorder, I don't have that because, like I said, it wasn't necessarily for me to get somebody to see no one in pain. Last thing I want to do is see anybody in pain, hurt, or in physical pain. Now, I'm not trying to, like, justify what I do and used to do and what I like, but at the same time, it was just something I was questioning because sometimes, like I said, when people see someone in, like, like in a way, like in a um, situation where, like in a like in a in a in an intense situation where you can't like have safety, can't have like this can't have like sanctuary safety. People can prey on it, and I guess it comes from very early. People, when it comes to people have, when it comes to uh, abusers taking advantage of their abusees, because the abu the abuser is the one doing it, the abusee is the one taking it. But when it comes to the, the abusee, I guess it comes from very early. I guess abusees learned very early that when they were taken advantage of and then there's no one that could save them and they got to deal with it, I guess they kind of grew up and gravitate to what they know or when there was a young adult, they get used to what they already been. It was just the way I was breaking down. Now, I'm, I may talk about this topic again about fetish, but not in a parallel way. But it was just a thought because it's a lot of stuff out here, like I said, we could be exposed to that we don't understand. All right, later. See you in the next video.